Okay folks, we're outside the house here in Roscommon, which has been a major news subject all during the week. In fact, you'd want to be living in a hole in the ground not to know what's going on here. However, there has been some false reporting by RTE and other media outlets, which is why I drove down here tonight to meet with the good comrades of Roscommon, who are all here in support of anti-eviction task force and Northern Ireland eviction force teams coming down here and evicting Irish people from their homes. Uh, RTE had a report tonight where Leo Vradkar said he was disgusted by the violence that, was, uh, that happened here at this house. And it's important to note that he didn't notice the first part of the violence. Uh, the police stood outside on the road while, people, while local people were, were assaulted here, including uh, an ex-Garda who's had his teeth broken and was severely assaulted. The Garda stood outside and said they couldn't get involved because it was private property. However, as soon as there was another assault by the uh, Northern Ireland Eviction Force, all of a sudden it's a crime scene and they were able to come on. Uh, I'm calling on Leo Vradkar now to come out and make a statement about the first assault which really kicked off the second assault. I mean, these are a good football in county down here and they know the person that throws the first punch, uh, you know, normally incites the rest of the punches to take place. And that's what happened here. And while, you know, we none of us uh, like violence, sometimes, you know, we can understand why the second violent incident took place, which has been avoided on RTE News. And the videos of that attack have been constantly taken down from Facebook. Uh, second to that, just as you can see, there's lights on in the house. The people are back in their family dwelling and that's a great success story. Also, you got to remember these people are elderly and my understanding is only one is on the mortgage. So here's a little Christmas present for a lot of you people sitting at home that may be uh, thinking this is going to happen to you next. Uh, we intend to stop all these evictions taking place until something is done about it. There's over 100,000 families facing the type of turmoil that this family had to go through. And we will be stopping any of these Northern Ireland eviction forces coming down. And anybody even from the South who thinks they can get away with this, they cannot. But the Christmas present I'm going to give you is simply this. Two people that are in the house uh, are not on the mortgage. And my understanding is they're there for a number of years but the magic number is 12. If you're in a property or a dwelling for over 12 years and you're not on the mortgage, you have obtained what's known as an equitable interest in the, in the property, which cannot be defeated by a bank's charge. And that's even if the bank's charge is valid. I'm just telling you that a number of mortgages that I have seen, up as high as 90% of mortgages are not valid in this country. So just remember that, little Christmas present for you all. And also another Christmas present to think that you're not alone, don't be ashamed. Just look at the good people here from the local uh, community that stand here in the cold of night, making sure these people can sleep at ease in their own home, which is a terrific thing. And you know, there's people arriving and people will arrive in the morning as well and hopefully bring sandwiches and sausages and stuff like that, isn't that right? Somebody yeah. was looking for a few cans of beer. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, but there's, but there's a good atmosphere here and you know, no violence at all. Uh, if anybody else comes down, you know, to participate in violence, I'm quite sure while it disappoints me that will be met with violence. And you know, the last thing I want to say is that Leo Vradkar and his cronies that allow this go on by bringing Northern Ireland eviction uh, force teams down here are really putting the security of the state at risk, the Good Friday Agreement at risk. Because when you allow this to happen, you know, if this was to happen and it becomes a regular thing, that could incite civil war. And this is not a site we want to see uh, where people are standing outside uh, family uh, dwellings which are constitutionally protected anyway and it's absolutely against the law to do what they've done and I suggest anybody who has an equitable interest like that lady in Balbriggan who was taken out by the same uh, Northern Ireland eviction force who were taken out they took out that lady she had an equitable interest in the property 
and they knocked the man out who was an ex-soldier, knocked him out on the road with a punch and they were using illegal sap gloves. I didn't notice them with them this time because we highlighted that in the doll. So, you know, a strong warning has been sent to all security firms. Doesn't matter where you're from, a strong message has been sent. Do not take Irish people out of their constitutionally protected dwellings or you will meet what you're going to meet. And that's it, folks. So it's over and out from me here in Roscommon and from the good people. I want to thank them all here for the, doing the unenviable task of standing here in the freezing cold at 12 o'clock at night. Brilliant for them and well done. Yeah, sure.